So what about um, what about um, It's a beautiful day. Sun is out, blue skies. Javier had a great night last night. Thank you, my friend. Safe trips. Thank okay. you so much. You have friends all the way. Back Thank home. you. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. Mexico has been awesome. Oh, look at the sun is just coming over the mountain up here. I'm just now leaving Javier's house. It's been so nice to have Javier and everybody. Oh, that sun is feeling good. Well, there's one last look at the beautiful city of Monterey. It's been so awesome having uh, this amazing base of operations, Javier, and all the friends here in Monterey have been fantastic. And uh, today is the day we head back to the U.S. of A. I will miss you guys, but uh, as Javier reminded me this morning, I now have friends all over Mexico that I'll have to come back and visit again. Feet flat back against the wall, I can feel it coming like a wrecking ball. Reeling from boredom and loss, the beast in us is the best in us. Buenos dias. ¿Cuánto cuesta? I have my earphones in, so I can't hear. Well, <laughs> Three beers and a phonograph It's a drop of the needle and you spin the hat It's pictures frame, loneliness And it's two shots in a bone kiss I'll pick the apple, babe And I eat the plum Will you forgive me? You save it if someone Well, it looks like we hit some sort of a police barricade Kiss me like the first time Make believe that we're feeling high The only thing that I can trust Is a single light and a bottle of dust oh, yes. I'll be your witness, babe You can be my metaphor Nice guy Just looking for bad people Keeping the world safe One thing I really like about my helmet is it's a modular helmet, so I can flip the lid up. You can see I've got a friendly face and wave me on. <laughs> I love that I can uh, pull into a gas station, flip up the lid, and be able to talk to people and communicate. They uh, aren't just talking to a mask, you know. They can see it's a real person. And uh, you know, if I have to stop in a small little town see some kids, want to wave to or whatever, I can flip the lid up. It's much more friendly and approachable. And the only thing that I can say is don't think you know. Remember that statue? We are approaching Reynosa. Whew. Long, boring highway from Monterrey to Reynosa. But I managed to be in touch with my friend Rosendo, the uh, fine gentleman who met me at the border on my initial crossing into Mexico. And uh, as a thank you, I got him to meet me at that restaurant and we're gonna, I wanna buy him lunch, thank him for all of the help. Oh, <laughs> unbelievable, is that him already? How funny, I thought we were meeting at the restaurant. 
<laughs> nice to see you. <laughs> you were you were just buying some uh Okay, very nice. VIPs? Yeah. Okay. Okay. How funny is that? So, just happened to see him on the side of the road, or he saw me and waved, and I saw him back. But <laughs> he had just stopped to buy some coconut butter from a street side vendor. So, we met up, and now we're off to VIP's restaurant. Scooters are everywhere. Honda 125. Big old delivery box on the back. Weaving through traffic. We discussed lane splitting and filtering early in the trip. I saw a lot of that going on in Mexico. Unfortunately, I couldn't partake very well because of my luggage on this trip. So there were a lot of situations where I just hung back, but uh, yeah, a lot of cases where I was able to filter to the front and meet up with the other motorcyclists and nobody batted an eye and it was great. You can see all the way around. Wow. It's, it's amazing. I read that they also have a very nice, very, very old cemetery. Yes. I missed it. Uh -huh. is, it is it near downtown? Yes, yes. You, you can go walk. Wow. And this is interesting. This uh, a bullfighting interior uh, uh, ring. Yeah, bull ring. ring. Uh -huh. Bull ring. Uh -huh. 14 is for is because 40 bandits was living around. <laughs> and that's America. why they name it. They have the 14. Yeah, uh -huh. 14. There was 14 bad people, bandits. Wow. <laughs> they did bad things in that place. There's the sign. So uh, I started out my trip in Mexico with uh, this amazing man giving me such great advice and helping me through. And I'm ending my trip with this same man. <laughs> we had a very nice lunch together. And uh, thank you so much, my friend. You're welcome. Anytime you want. All right. Okay. I'll come back and visit soon. Yes. Okay. Yes. I wait for you. All right. Okay. Uh, we'll see you all down the road. Thank you. Have a nice trip. Thank you. No, gracias. Merci. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> well, I'm in line to Salida or exit Mexico. Street vendors everywhere. Well, I've got a minute as I uh, exit the border here. Few final thoughts I have to say this trip has been amazing so many incredible wonderful people in Mexico I've met nothing but kindness and enthusiasm Mexicans love their country and they welcome travelers they treat us with respect and kindness and uh, I just uh, felt really appreciated and um, really enjoyed my time. I made so many incredible friends, so many wonderful people along the way. And it seems like every time I made a friend, uh, they'd introduce me to two more. <laughs> so it was great. Um, yeah. I don't know how to express my uh, feelings at this time, just really loved it down here and um, I hope it's not too long before I can come back. I'm going to turn this off before I get choked up. <laughs> but anyway, uh, really, Mexico, you guys are awesome. Thank you to everybody I met. and. Uh, Everybody who welcomed me into their home, everyone who fed me. Um, 
everybody who watched over me. There was groups that would follow my trip and would ask me if I arrived safely at each destination. Um, just incredible. Had a fantastic time and I encourage all of my friends, if you get a chance, come south of the border. It's beautiful, it's exciting, and it's a wonderful place to travel. Last interaction with a Mexican authority, I get to pay my 30 pesos exit tax. Woohoo! Hold dollar sixty-five. Hello, buenas tardes. Oh, oh, okay. Gracias. A gentleman in line told me if I have a global entry card, I can get in this line. Is that correct? Which one? I, I don't have Century, just global entry. Is that a, is same difference? Same thing. Okay. Behind this one. Thank you very much. So a nice gentleman in line uh, suggested that since I have a global entry card, I should be in the ready lane, so a little bit faster moving line. Confirmed it with the uh, officer, so moving along a little bit faster. I did have the opportunity to register Trinity as a vehicle on my global entry card so that I could use the Sentry Pass, and the Sentry Pass is, I mean, that line is flying, so might have to think about doing that if I come back to Mexico, is registering Trinity as my uh, vehicle on the global entry card, but anyway, at least for now we got a little bit faster line than we were in, so that's good. How are you? Doing great. Sorry? Nothing. Got a fun time traveling all around the country. <laughs> How far next would you go? Down to uh, San Miguel de Allende. I did a big loop. It was really cool. How long did it take you? Two weeks. Wow. Hello? Met some fun people. <laughs> and, uh, takes a lot of guts. Yeah. Thank you very much. Long yeah. But I am looking forward to finally being home and seeing my wife, so. <laughs> Thank you very much. Well, I'm back in the good old U.S. of A. All right. Has a nice familiarity about it. <laughs> no welcoming committee on this side of the border, but didn't need it. Uh, I've got my family waiting for me back home, and that'll be my welcome party when I get there. I was a little uh, taken aback by the comments by the customs agent there, but didn't know what to say. I was like... Really? You're a person right here at the border. You meet plenty of Mexicans, I'm sure. And, you know, his comment about how dangerous it was, I'm like, I would have expected you to be a little more informed, but whatever, you know. Everybody has their own opinions, so. To each their own, I say. And uh, I had a great time. That's all I can say. Uh, but I'm happy to be home. I enjoyed Mexico, but I love my country too. So I'm excited to be back on American soil and looking forward to the long haul home. <laughs> this is the. Uh, <laughs> This is the 
grin and bear it stretch. You know, when, when you're on the road, when you're traveling, they say uh, sometimes you get a little bit of get homeitis, a little disease where towards the end of your trip, you're like, okay, I just want to get home. So I'm starting to get a little bit of that now that I'm back in the USA. We'll see how far I get tonight. The original plan was to get to uh, Houston where a good friend from Africa grew up in Africa, uh, went to the same school I did, TASOC, the American School of Kinshasa. Anyway, her daughter lives in Houston. I was going to crash with them for the night. To be honest, I'm not sure I'm going to make it. It was such a long border crossing and stopping and hanging out with Rosendo at the restaurant, getting gas, getting my leftover pesos changed back into American currency. You know, just a lot of paperwork and junk like that that really helped me up. So it's uh, already 2.45. Houston's like another five and a half or six hours. I'm not sure I'm gonna make it, but we'll do our best, we'll see. Hey, how are you? Yes. Yeah, that was very strange. I'm a good ways into Texas. Along goes on, red quarter to five. It's like a border patrol. Run the sleep from my eyes. Throw on a shirt and some jeans and my boots. And then it's time. Huh. Interesting. Work all day. Is that legal? I'm totally I may have to ask my friend Mark about that. Get back home and fall right to sleep. Oh well. Along goes home. In the morning and the cycle's complete. Broke up the uh, monotony for me for a little Work, bit. Work, so. sleep, repeat. Whatever. <laughs> check it out and I stopped for gas the first gas station I had to stop at in, in Texas and it's got a taco stand in it <laughs> kind of ironic yeah came from Mexico I thought so anyway mm -hmm. 